What's up, YouTube? We're at San Pedro today. We're gonna be installing a 2014 GLI bumper on my 2013 2.5 SE model. Now, the main difference on these two bumpers, besides color, is gonna be trim. So, the black one comes with a, a rear valence. The original does not. All you're gonna need is a T25, T20 torque bit wrench. I'm going to show you how to remove this one and install a new one. Let's get started. So to start out, you're going to come to the rear wheel well. You're going to use a T25 on these three points right here. And you're going to want to do the same to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, there's a hidden screw right there. I had to go ahead and raise my car. These are 19 inches and I didn't have much clearance right there. But now we can take it off and do the same on the other side. Alright, so once you take off the screws, you're able to pry off the fender. It should look like this, really loose at the bottom. Next, you want to get under the car. And you're going to have another T25, T25 over there. And we're going to have a Phillips right here, center, right on, above the spare tire. You have one more, one more over there, one more over there. So once you remove all the screws from the bottom and from the sides, you're going to want to go over here to the back. Remove this square, remove this plastic trim right here, pop it off. There's going to be a plastic screw holding this whole headlight together. You're going to want to take that off, unscrew that, and your headlight should pop off. Don't forget to unplug it, alright? At this point, it should look a little like this. Don't forget to unplug the headlight. Now, the only thing holding it is these hinges right here, you're just going to want to pull them up. Do the same on the other side. Lift, pull towards you, and it should come off. So now with the bumper removed, it should look like this. I've never seen a Jetta without a bumper. It's a rare sight. Let me close the trunk so you guys can see what it looks like. It's like missing a jaw. Alright guys, so this is how it turned out, looks pretty nice, but if I'm being honest, some of the screws didn't line up, I think it's the year difference, so on the side they didn't line up, on the bottom they do, and then we had a discrepancy up here, so these slots are slanted, they're angled different, the original is more of a rectangular shape, catches it easier, so not too sturdy, but we'll make it work, we'll make it safe, let me show you what it looks like with the trunk closed. Check it out. Not too bad. I'll show you guys the other side. All right, well there you have it, guys. That's how you do a unsuccessful, successful bumper swap. Yeah, see you next time.